hello guys welcome to my youtube channel scholar tag studio let's start another lecture on msc adams view so in this lecture i will teach you the application of view tool okay so which option are available in the view tool if we select on the view tool then here you can see there are first two options this one is part only and other is model model is consisted of two or more than two parts or we can say a lot of parts but if we select this one then it will show the complete model okay but if we want to see any specific part of the model in a separate window so we can use this one okay and then select part only if you will select part only then it will show the list of the parts that are available in your model so you can select any part that you want to see let's suppose i want to see part 3 this is part 3 and said okay so now you can see that in this interface you only have part 3 similarly if you want to see another part so you will again on part let's suppose you want to see the part 2 so just select part 2 and then said okay so now you have only part 1 in your interface okay and the next option is like if you want to bring your complete model then you need to go to view and you have to select the second option that is model if you will select this one then the complete model will appear on this window so these two options are clear the third option is mayor that we already discussed in last lecture okay so we just need to select the like last time we select right click and here we can see the mayor so in previous video we discussed in detail about the mayors so this is the same mayor okay some major variables you can select from here or you can select from here okay so the next option is refresh if you update your model and you want to refresh it so we can use this refresh option okay so the next option is toolbox and toolbar okay if we will click on it then tool setting window will pop up and here you can see that there are three options one hit model browser in first lecture i told you this is the model browser this is complete uh, window is called model browser and these are called the ribbons okay and the status toolbar uh, you can see here at the bottom this is status toolbar so this is basically about the position of these so let's see the first one so first one is model browser so here you can see that it's selected as the left side and if you want to move this left to right then here you can find option right so see you see that our model browser is now on the right condition and if you want to make it undocked okay now it's floating you can move it anywhere and you can place where you want to do okay so there are three options under model model browser so you can place at at three different position let's suppose i want to make it at left so i just select left and if you will uncheck this one then you will see that they it will disappear the model browser okay if you want to disappear uh, this model browser then you can select this option so these are the options related to model browser the next is ribbon you can say it's check and our ribbon are shown on this interface and if we uncheck this then here you can see that your ribbon are not present okay so in this way you can bring your ribbon in your interface the third is a status toolbar this is also related to the position of the status toolbar so status toolbar is at the bottom it can be move at so there are only two options you can put your status toolbar at the bottom or you can fix it at the top so it's up to you uh, at which position you like to pay place this uh, uh, status toolbar so these settings related to the tool setting okay so the next option is uh, view accessories so here are some accessories so here you can see that there is working grid 
on my on this window you can see that these are called the working rate okay so this is called the working rate. if you uncheck this now you can see that the working rate are disappeared so if you want to own working rate then it's uh, you have to check this one i, I prefer to work with the uh, working rate because it give us uh, an idea like where we are working and in this way okay the second is screen icon okay so basically screen icon is uh, different icons like different uh, here you can see that this is the icon of gravity and this is the icon of its uh, uh, position here you can see x and y and if we uncheck this then you can see it's uh, disappear uh, the screen icon like when we will assign the material or when we will assign different connectors then it will also create their name or icon on this uh, screen and if you want to see then you can select in this way okay so this is about the screen the next is a trade view trade this is called view trade and if you uncheck then it will disappear but it's uh, also must be on your uh, mm, screen because it's tell us the orientation of and direction of different parts and the third one is view title so here you can see that it shows the title of the model like the model name and if you will uncheck this then it will disappear so this is the next option view accessories okay so the next option is uh, command window so what you will do it will appear here in the command window like what you are doing if you will create a uh, you will execute any command like you will create a box then it will appear here so if you want to see what is your last uh, execution so you can check from here okay and the next is uh, uh, coordinate window this is very important this is very important okay let's suppose i want to measure the corner of uh, this i want to add something at this place okay but i uh, if i don't use this one i don't know what is exactly the distance from origin to this point and if i want to uh, attach something then i don't know exactly orientation okay so if we use this option coordinate so it can measure see if we are at this point it's mean you can see that there are three options it these are the coordinates x y and z so at this position um, told us that this position is uh, minus it means that from region to this point is minus 450 millimeter and if we go to the uh, x axis y axis then its value is zero and similarly you can see if you will move your cursor then it's tell us the coordinates the value of x and y so it it tells two dimensional uh, coordinates not three dimensional it will not show the value of the z okay so in this way we can now the coordinates in future we will learn how where we will use this one but this is another option that you can active from the view option the next is uh, message window like if you are working and you got some type of message like uh, is there a problem with your uh, last command or uh, it's not going to execute or if you have some type of uh, problem in your model then it will be appear here so you can check from here okay so the next option is preset it uh, it is basically define its uh, orientation that you are seeing let's suppose i want to see this as a from front so here you can see that we are looking at from the front and similarly if we want to look our model from the bottom left right and uh, iso so from this we can change the uh, prospective angle to see our model like where we are watching this model if you want to see from the top then we will select the top option if you want to see from left to right you will learn all these things in future when we will deal with the real model then and we will use these options sometime we want to see the model at the top of the model and sometime from the left or sometime from the bottom okay so these are the option in 
preset units and the next is the position so here you can see that this is zoom zoom in zoom out zoom box so we will also use these option uh, from here okay and here you can see that translate translate mean it will move in linear direction if you want to see your model and then you can use this way okay and uh, here is also a rotate option okay if you will select origin okay then it will focus on the origin and if you will select other option like uh, fit to ground or fit to zoom or center so uh, you can select from here it will just give the perspective of seeing our model okay let's suppose you want to rotate around the x-axis then you will select axis then you will press the right mouse key okay and then you will rotate so it will only rotate around the x-axis but it will not rotate y-axis or z-axis so if you select x-axis so it can only rotate around the x-axis but for this you have to press the right mouse key and then you have to move your cursor up and down but it will rotate in x direction let's suppose we want to rotate in an other direction okay let's suppose in y direction now you will do the same you select the y and here you have to press the left uh, mouse key and then you have to uh, rotate your mouse from left to right so here you can see that your model is rotating only around the y-axis so these are some options of rotations or you can look your model okay the next is layout this is also very important like when we will deal with the, some type of simulation and uh, our parts are moving and uh, correspondingly we also want to watch our uh, results okay then we have we can use this window layout so it has too many options if now we have select this one single window if we will select two then it will divide this uh, window into two sections you can see that uh, for this is our window one and this is window two so one side we can upload the simulation and from the other side we can uh, upload uh, the results or we can um, compare the simulation of two models between them so in this way it's give up to uh, six option in three and three so in this way you can make your windows okay so i select one and we will learn when we will use these options so this is basically divide your window into different layouts okay so the next option is uh, render mode so this is also very important render mode so here are many options here you can see that there is a solid and if from here you can directly convert this wireframe and solid wireframe and solid okay but if you want to uh, see more render option then you can come here under the render mode so the first one is wireframe so it will convert your model into wireframe and if you will select this one now this is solid fill okay so this is solid fill but not shaded edges so it's uh, solid fill and similarly you can from you uh, from this model you can change shaded now you can say it's look shaded okay and similarly another there is another option that is called precision fill so this is uh, the precision fills so you can say there is a little bit change in the uh, vision of this model okay so you can select a model according to your requirement but i prefer to select the shaded one because it also give uh, the idea about the uh, shape of our body okay so the next is projection so there are two projection available orthographic view or prospective view so you can select orthographic view or prospective view from this viewpoint okay so you just need to select so these all the complete uh, guide about the option is of view okay so now i hope you learn many things about how to use and uh, why we use these uh, different uh, commands I hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon thank you